Hi and welcome to Loose Watercolour Tulips. For this painting I'm using 140 pound Bockingford paper and I'm also using liquid watercolours mixed with normal tube watercolours. Try and use anything that you have. I'm sure you'll still get the same effects. Uh, I've used a lot of water in this painting and blotted out and it creates a really loose free watercolour painting. I started off by blocking out the centres of the tulips with masking fluid and I've let it dry completely. Now again I haven't drawn anything but I'm coming in with just water and marking out where I want the paint to go with the water. And then I'm going to drop in the colours that I want to use and the paint was spread where the water's dropped onto the page. This is a lovely way of painting as you just let the watercolour paint for itself, you just drop in the colours and you just let it spread. This is liquid watercolour that I'm using here in a nice pinky red colour, it looks a bit orange here I'm afraid, and um, I'm just letting it spread where it likes to, just coaxing it where I want it to go. Drop in several colours of the shade of the tulip and um, just let the paint flow and blend in together and it makes some lovely effects. in lots of water and add dark colours as well and then you can come in and blot out where the light hits the petals and I like to come in with a water soluble pencil and I like to drag the watercolour and also use the colour of the pencil and just make a few lines and accents just like the veins of the petals and it gives a really lovely effect. You can also blot this out a bit as well if you've gone a bit OTT with it because it's quite easy to get carried away. I'm just blotting in some clear water um, just to uh, create some more like cauliflower washbacks. Um, I'm just adding it where the paint's just slightly just losing its sheen and you will see it creates a lovely effect. I'm adding another texture to the petals, um, sanding a water soluble pencil so it looks like the pollen's fallen off the stamens. I'm going to build up the other tulips in a similar fashion, just blot in lots of paint and let it flow where, where it likes, just let, let the watercolour paint for you. For this wet into wet technique I drop in lots of colours and let the paint do what it likes to do. Again you can coax the paint where you want it to go with the water soluble pencil. When I've let the paint all spread about in its own way I like to come in and just blot out some areas to make some highlights. I'm using lots of pinky, orangey, yellow colours for these tulips. the tulip flowers are still wet you can add the stems to them. Um, I like the way that sometimes when you're adding the stems the water, the colour that you've put down for the flowers gets pulled into the stem and it gives a really lovely effect of like the shade. 
keep dropping in colours and coaxing it with a watercolour pencil where you'd like it all to go. Finger painting's okay as well. Um, I'm using quite a lot of water here so I can always come in and blot out where I want the light to catch. Carry on building up blooms of tulips until you're happy with the composition you have. Remember to keep dropping in lots of subtle colours so you have a variation in your tulips. When you're finished, let the watercolour dry completely so we can start removing the masking fluid. I'm using a soft putty rubber to remove the masking fluid from the centre of the flowers. I then started painting the details of the centres of the tulips. I used a very dark green to paint in the centres of the flowers, the stamens. This makes the flowers come to life. You can blot out some highlights on the stamens just to make them more lifelike. You don't have to paint the centres of the flowers on all the tulips, just where you think they'll be showing. I really hope you enjoyed painting these spring tulips. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed already, please do. Thank you. Bye.